Design choices that are dating your home and exactly how to fix them. From terrible old countertops to old cliches of what good design is, we are going to dive in. Stick around to the very end because we're saving the best for last. And the number one problem I see with homes that look absolutely dated are granite countertops and tile countertops. Well, granite can be very busy. It's a material that has a very busy pattern and in its inherent nature. And having busy countertops is not soothing for the eye or the home. Having tile, on the other hand, is just as terrible because you have grout that can look dirty, it's not easy to clean, and it's just dating your space. Instead, consider quartz, quartz side, or marble. These materials are a lot more interesting, they're much more visually appealing, and they're really gonna elevate your home. Now, if you use marble, which is my absolute favorite material, look at what you can achieve. You can achieve a very high-end aesthetic. It is more expensive, but sometimes it's worth to splurge in areas that are going to have highest impact your kitchen is the place and the number one space that sells your home so if you're going to invest in your home at all it's going to have to be with marble and it's going to be in your kitchen if you're worried about spilling there is a skin coat that a lot of designers and homeowners are using and it's called tough skin and what tough skin does is an impermeable sealant cover in fact it's a sheet that's applied to your countertops that is invisible which will make your countertops absolutely bulletproof if you're tired of marble well instead why don't you try stainless steel countertops? That's a really chic new industrial way of updating your kitchen and it actually looks very interesting to the eye and is actually quite affordable. Moving on to our next outdated trend, white appliances. A lot of us have them. We remember the days of buying appliances at Sears because they were actually good quality, but it's time to say goodbye and bring in instead stainless steel is an option. It's still not my favorite, but if we had to choose between white, I'd rather go stainless, or in fact, there are many appliances that these days, manufacturers that are providing colored materials and colored appliances. Those could be a little bit more updated, a little bit more interesting. Another option is matte black. I find this to be extremely high end. It works very well with white oak. You're gonna see a lot of white oak, actual oak cabinets or veneer cabinets, and white oak and matte black look really great together. So this is a great option, but my absolute favorite option of all, which is what I'm doing. Robert. By the way, I'm updating my kitchen. Speaking of updated kitchens, if you're interested in seeing from A to Z, well, all you gotta do is click on my vlogs. We're gonna take you through the whole process. What you wanna do, my absolute favorite thing of all, which is what I'm doing, is I am getting panel ready appliances from my dishwasher to my refrigerator. The only thing you can't panel ready, in fact, is your, you guessed it, your ovens. You can't panel an oven because the heat will melt it. However, everything else, um, other than the microwave, can be panel ready and it looks so good. And by the way, when you update your kitchen in five or 10 years after that, well, all you gotta do is replace the panel. Before I continue, I need you to hit that subscribe button for more interior design tips. I upload a video every week that's going to help you design the space of your dreams. Number three, the worst offense, or one of the worst offenses is wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. We don't do it anymore. Sorry guys, there was a time, but we just don't. It could be cozy, but maybe in a different decade. So what I recommend is to rip out the wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. If you want softness, you could certainly integrate it over your wood floors. Now, what do I mean by wood floors? Look, if we all have the budget, I'd say do three quarter inch planks. If you don't have the budget for three quarter inch planks, laminated floors are just as good. If not, there are porcelain tiles that are commercial grade that are amazing. I put it downstairs in my sort of entrance that has a lot of traffic and they look just like wood. This is going to be a huge upgrade. Speaking of luxury, there is luxury vinyl. You heard it here. Yes, on the red elevator, there is luxury vinyl floors that are economical, so there's no reason why any of us should have wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. With these great remedies, there is no reason why you can't bring in a rug to warm up your space and make your feet feel cozy. Now, as many of you know, I've got a line with Ruggable, and I absolutely am in love with the rugs that I've designed because they really work in multiple spaces. They don't distract the eye from the rest of the home, and they complement your space beautifully. Like you can see in these images and in these photos, these rugs are multi-use, can be thrown in your washing machine and reusable. And by the way, if you get tired of it, throw in another Nina Takish Ruggable because we have so many different options. If you're at a loss as to how to update your home and don't know what to get rid of, you can definitely book a Zoom consultation with me by clicking the Zoom link in the description section below. I can get on a 25 minute call or longer and help you really make transformative decisions.
Number four, now this is really, this hits my pain body, and that is outdated drapes, especially if it has lace or any type of frou-frou around it. What you're doing is you're overwhelming your space when you have curtains that call out so much attention. Instead, replace them immediately. Do Roman shades. Roman shades are wonderful. Do electronic shades. Electronic shades are great and you can put them on your home system so that they can go up and down as you need them. But my absolute favorite solution to the dated home with the terrible curtains are sheer curtains. Sheer curtains are gorgeous. They drape beautifully. They've got an aura about them. They have a lot of texture. Light goes through them. It softens the space and it actually makes your home look fabulous. Another alternative are woven blinds and bamboo shades. I've done these in my projects and the bamboo shades, which I've purchased from Amazon, I'm gonna link them below because they were so good. In fact, we obviously left them in the project because the homeowner was so excited about them, but they are really a game changer when it comes to having natural texture in your home. And they actually work really well and great for powder rooms, great for secondary rooms when you don't need blackout. Number five of the worst defenses is the overly ornate anything. Now, what do I mean by that? Sometimes you can bring in something ornate and put it next to something that is ultra modern, but look at this ornate disaster with these chandeliers. I'm sorry if you have this in your home, it's dating your home in every way possible. Ornate chandeliers with lampshades are a thing of the very, very past, and I hope they never, ever return. Those must be eliminated at once. What is the solution? Well, instead, replace the overly ornate pictures with something sleek, something modern, something beautiful, and something that is visually appealing. If you have a string of lights, that's a great idea. If you have a beautiful fixture with bulbs that are made of hand-blown glass, even better. Opt for minimalist pendants with clean lines. Those are gonna give you the highest impact for transformation of your space. Now, another outdated trend that is really dating your home is the colored accent wall, that painted wall we all did. I am just as guilty. Immediately paint it back to the color of the rest of the walls and get that idea out of your head. Instead, if you love the color your accent wall was in, I'm not saying don't have color, I'm saying bring color into your home, but make sure you paint the entire room in that color. That's going to obviously and quickly and efficiently update your space, paint your walls, paint your ceiling, paint your baseboards, paint your door. Everything in that color, it's called color drenching. It has a huge impact in the space. It is inexpensive and one of my favorite things at the moment. Another idea, if you have that wall that's accented, well, instead wallpaper it. Wallpapering is really fun to do and really can change your space in a matter of minutes. The the moment you put a landscape mural, for example, like the one I just designed with Bellarta Studio, I'm gonna link my entire wallpaper collection for you. I love my wallpaper, not because I designed it, I mean, it helps, but it's because it works in many spaces. The colors are neutral enough and the rooms look great. It's a great quick update. I'm sure you have beautiful furniture, but you need a little je ne sais quoi on your walls. Well, this is the way to do it. And it's a way to do it beautifully, efficiently, and it's also designer approved. For those of you who ask today, I'm wearing a brand new spring blazer from Aritzia. It's lightweight, it's great for this season. Culottes from Yves Saint Laurent. My shoes are Chanel, and I'm wearing my favorite t-shirt. I have this in every, every color. I love it. Everything will be linked in the description section. Number seven, finally, let's get rid of the sayings in our homes. Look, we might have a saying or two, perhaps we keep it on our phones or perhaps we write it down in a journal, but we have no reason to put up plaques that have sayings on them. They're very childlike, they're very fine, put them in a nursery, but do not put them in your home. Instead, look at the transformation you can achieve when you put in beautiful black and white photography. There is nothing that is more appealing, in my opinion, than black and white photography or photography. Grab your iPhone, guys. If you're not interested in photography, there's another solution for you. Instead, create a gallery wall. Gallery walls can be achieved with lots of paintings that you already have in your home, some of which you have stored away in your garage. Bring them out, lay them flat on the floor, look at them, and then trace them out on a piece of paper and then put them on your wall. This is an easy, great way of bringing in and incorporating a lot of your personal items that are just sitting and collecting dust. Now, if this video has caught your attention and now you're ready to paint your walls, well, here's a simple tip. Follow me to the next video where I'm gonna go deep into how to do color drenching perfectly. See you there.